Welcome. Today we're going to talk about big machines and Salesforce integration. Now essentially what we're going to do in this example is using the Informatica cloud services, we're going to take the product and pricing information from Salesforce um, and we're going to import it into our big machines quoting engine so we can create a quote. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is log into Informatica cloud um, and we can create a new data synchronization task. And uh, you notice we have a nice six step wizard to follow to achieve this integration. Uh, now we're gonna make our task name Big Machines Pricing Import. And we're going to insert that data into Big Machines. Now, so we wanna grab data from somewhere. You know, we told you we're gonna grab it from Salesforce. So I simply pick my Salesforce connection from the list. Um, and then from that Salesforce connection, I'm gonna pick several different objects from Salesforce. Right, so essentially what the first one I'm going to pick is the price book entry because that has product and pricing information. And now the second object I'm going to pick is going to be the product. And you'll notice that right here, the product is actually related to the price book. So the relationships are pretty neat because they show you the relationship of the objects that we need. So we need the product information and you'll see a nice little preview is the basic product information and the price book information um, has a link to the product and it has a price. All right, so it's pretty neat how these multiple objects work with Salesforce. So we're grabbing this information from Salesforce as our source, and now we're gonna put them into big machines as a target, right? So in this case, we're actually gonna just put what happened to a, to a nice uh, results file. Um, then I'll show you how we use a custom function to actually write that information in big machines. Right, so we have a nice result file of what happened, and we'll look at that in just a minute. Uh, now, um, step four is a data filters. Uh, and so we can do something simple like, for example, I only want things out of uh, price book entry where the price you know, is greater than zero. Right, so that way we can only get products that actually have uh, a price associated with it. Now you can do any kind of filter that you want. You could do an advanced filter, you could do a filter off of any of these objects. Uh, but we're going to keep it simple for now. So that's our data filter. Uh, remember we're on our wizard. So uh, step five of the wizard uh, goes to on the left side is our Salesforce objects. These are the different ones we picked. And on the right side is that target we set up as the results. Now we're going to add a custom function and we're going to go ahead and pick our uh, big machines custom function that we did to add pricing. And now you'll see that we have a, uh, a way to do source to custom function. Right, so we're going to take the information from our Salesforce source um, and we're simply going to drag it over. So the first thing I might want is the part number. Um, so with the part number, I think I can get that out of my product. Right, so let's take our product code and drag that over. Uh, now I want to get my unit price. So that's going to be back to my price book entry. All right, I'm going to drag that over. Um, my price book name, um, let's make that something simple like uh, price book ID to match it up so it's consistent across the entire price book. Um, going down to our table name. Um, now this is a, something that big machine requires and so we can go ahead and give this a name and mine is called price list. Um, and now this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, the session ID is how we can determine um, a certain session in big machines. And this is predicated by us logging in first. And that's actually another task that I created, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But essentially with the session ID, I can do a lookup, and I can figure out, okay, from uh, that big machine login that I did, the login results we called it, um, I can actually take something like um, the active of the message, and I can relate over here to success. Uh, and then I can output my session ID right there as well. All right, so now we have a pretty clean way to grab the session ID, because the big machine requires, most SaaS apps require you to log in and then do some activity. So this is how we consistently do activity across the board. All right, um, so that I guess is our source to custom function. So this is our our source with our Salesforce objects into the big machine that pricing. Uh, now the custom function to target is what happened, right? So I can simply auto match, match all these automatically. Um, and then I can go on to step six to run this on a schedule. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save it, and we're going to go ahead and run it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our big machines uh, login that we made, um, and then we're going to get the session ID and then run the import. 
So let's go ahead and do that. We can do that in something called a task flow. Uh, I actually started one here where I um, added my login first. Uh, then I can add another task called the big machines pricing import. And now you'll see that I have a sequence of tasks that run together and are dependent on each other. And I can, of course, put them on a schedule as well. Um, so let's go ahead and run this task flow. Um, let's go ahead and hit play and run that guy. Um, and now what you'll see here is our activity monitor so you can see in real time what's going on. So this is kind of neat because you can see essentially what's going on here is first we're going to log in. Uh, and then after we log in we get the session ID and then we're going to do as many subsequent, subsequent tasks as we want against the big machines to put data in, get data out, whatever we're trying to do. And now you see the pricing import running. So this is our sequence of, again, of events that started with the login to big machines and ends with the pricing imports. And that rows, I believe one for the login and seven for different products that were in Salesforce, uh, as we can see right here. And so thank you guys for your time. Um, and that was big machines and Salesforce integration. Have a good day.